So I just saw the movie called Venom, which is in association with Marvel, not not completely a Marvel, but it follows the Marvel formula, including the post credit scene. But I do movie reviews for Christians. I encourage you all to pray the movies. And uh, I thought the theme that came to mind as I was watching this was uh, the importance of the power of forgiveness to be to forgive and be forgiven as well without forgiveness grace and mercy we are all pretty uh, we're, we're living in a, a, a jungle you know it's just eye for an eye and that's not the way we want to live you know I mean this is like satanic. There was almost like a satanic aspect to this film. These creatures that inhabit the human beings, like demons, Satan's demons. And you gotta cast them out, literally and sometimes psychologically. Sometimes they're real demons, sometimes they're psychological demons. And I started saying to myself, in the name and blood of Jesus, I command you, command you out you have no legal rights here Jesus is Lord I was saying that during the movie and you can pray that as well and uh, you can use that in all kinds of situations where things are not good things seem nebulous uncertain or even dark and evil and it's a full moon tonight that's the moon right there they all look like moons in there but this is the moon right here. Full moon. As we approach Halloween, to me, I never really got into the things about Halloween. To me, it's Reformation Day, all, and All Saints Day, and then All Souls Day. And uh, let us just try to liberate people from the bondage they may be in, including our president. Or, current person in the you know, who's occupying the White House. Um, I think he is infested with demons and I think we should try to pray away those demons, cast them out from close or afar. If you're close to the president, maybe you can help if you're a believer. Unfortunately, I think he's surrounded by unbelievers or fake believers or what have you. Hear our prayer, Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.